All right, some more breaking developments coming your way. Uh, this is in the backdrop of the escalating data breach scandal. After facing the wrath of the world over the data leaks, Facebook today has announced changes to its uh, platform to give its users greater control over their data. The company claims that the changes will make privacy settings more accessible to the users. Facebook says that the new layout will give a clearer explanation about how data tools are used. Facebook will also allow users to delete their data from the platform. This comes after it came to light that data of 50 million Facebook users was collected by Cambridge Analytica. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg has since apologized and agreed to testify before U.S. lawmakers about the controversy. Let's go across uh, to our uh, correspondent Aditya Dhuna joining us for more on this. Aditya, do we see this uh, privacy setting change coming into effect immediately? What is this all about? How does this change uh, users' uh, privacy uh, uh, settings and uh, also address their concerns about privacy? Uh, that's right, Molly. Uh, what has happened right now is that if you fire up your Facebook app on your smartphone, so go to the settings menu on the Facebook website, you will see a remarkable change. There's a new layout which will guide users, uh, 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 telling them more about uh, their privacy settings and how they can change or amend uh, certain or implement certain ways by which they share their posts or their data there's also a separate menu which has now been created by facebook which basically will give users more clarity over their activity on facebook whether it, it is about a post that you like or what are you uh, talking about or sharing about this data was uh, particularly uh, available uh, to download so far. Many of us even tried doing, that, uh, tried doing that and were horrified of our own Facebook activities. So this data will is now conveniently available in the form of a menu. Now, Facebook says that uh, they will allow us to even delete any personal data that we are sharing. But the problem, Molly, lies in the fact that how certain apps interact with our Facebook accounts, more specifically with our data. In the case of Cambridge, Analytica more specifically, there was a quiz app. You must have tried quizzes on Facebook. A quiz app was developed by uh, uh, one of the people who is actually now a whistleblower in this case uh, to basically gather data through a, a Facebook user and while when the Facebook user used to allow that particular quiz to access their data using those permissions gather data about their friends and their activities and later use it uh, for uh, creating intelligence around elections and uh, gather specific data about a constitution constituency more specifically about the 50 million Facebook users that uh, have come under this particular Cambridge Analytica case. So Facebook says that uh, things will get better, but uh, it remains to be seen that how now going forward Facebook will tackle this particular problem. Uh, elections are coming up, elections are coming up in India, uh, midterm elections, the critical right. ones are coming up in the United States. So it remains to be seen how Facebook now engages with its users in this critical time where they actually have to make a decision about who they should vote for. Is it too little too late is also what uh, many uh, uh, will be asking as uh, the uh, news of this uh, new change in the privacy settings uh, unfolds. We're going to leave it there for the moment though, Aditya. Appreciate you joining us with those uh, details. But that does remain a continuing focus. The data leaks uh, and amid uh, that uh, growing controversy.